look behind us. It's not a matter of if it's going to rain. I think it's a matter of when, when is it going to rain. But we're currently heading into Epcot today. There is the thunder. Oof. Anyway, we're heading into Epcot. It's currently 6.15, I think. And why are we going to Epcot? We are going to see David Cook and Chris Allen at Disney's Eat to the Beat concert. They are former American Idol winners, if you don't know. That is correct. That sound is the monorail going by us here. Um, but we went to Air Supply not too long ago. Went to that Eat to the Beats concert, Eat to the Beat concert rather, and that was a good one. So we're here, we're here, try out another one. Got our umbrella, can't see it right now, but we got our raincoats, and just for laughs, one second, we brought these little beauties to see if we can capture a few more gold statues. Let's go check it out. I'm hoping it's not gonna be too crowded today because a lot of people see see that storm and start running running away. However, we're going in. Is it too early for a pumpkin spice latte? September's It's kind of the start, yeah. Anyway, I got one. Right. I got one anyway though, so it's uh yeah, it's very tasty. Well, I think, I don't know if it's gonna rain. It still looks like it's raining way over there. And there's thunder. However, the sun's poking out over there. Here we go. We are gonna see. Oh, oh. It buzzed, we're waving. Oh. We're waving. You gotta get your phone out too to capture. I think I got it. Did he Someone say anything? Oh. Music. Whoa. Hopefully, check the phone out and see if you captured that. Current status of trying to sign into the Play Disney app, and um, it's been spinning for a while now. Successfully waved the um, band. That's though. true, yeah. As heard... soon as it started buzzing on my wrist, I was waving, and it. It seemed to have gone through, but oh. Oh, look at that. It worked. We have about an hour before the concert starts, but we'll slowly make our way over there. See if uh, Rocket does anything here. It's not going. <laughs> oh, that's a good one. Rocket and Groot. These are actually working better than Magic Kingdom. Whenever it buzzes and you do it, oh, oh. like that. Hi. That seems to work. Well, hello. Nice. Six here. We've already found three of them. We might be able to get all these. Might as well try one more. Haven't got it yet. Oh. <laughs> There we go. Okay. Hopefully. Oh, whoa. Oh, that was a two for. Oh, yeah, because there's two separate statues there. I didn't know that. Okay. There's two. So, literally, we only have one more? Yeah. Do we know where it's at? Over there to the right. Over here to the right. Well, this might be a successful gold statue day. Yeah, nice. They're all right here. Yeah, and just one more and we have all of them here. Let's see. Wave like a maniac. I think you got it. Well, it definitely seems like you got it. Maybe somebody else did it at the same time. Well, five out of six wasn't bad. We're gonna have to walk back by that one later and see. It it like blinked and did it. It but would it, make the noise and then my band would light up, but it wouldn't um, like populate in the app. Yeah. So 
we were looking in the store here and they have this Disney Vans collection. This is really cool. Look at the sleeve of the, what's, is there anything on the back? Okay, that's, that's a cool shirt. What's the price? $36.99. Look at this one with the sleeve. That's really neat. That's awesome. What's the price on that? $69.99. That's cool. But then look at this. If you guys tuned in to our last Epcot video, we went on a whole hat hunting trip. And I ended up with a bucket hat that was like tie-dye. It's cute. But this one's pretty cool too. It's got like all the different rides, uh, rides attractions. That one's really cool. And that one's the same price as the hat last time. It's $39.99. If I come over here, you can see Disney and Vans. Side note. Oh. It popped up. Oh, hey, we got it. We got all of them here. So, it just took a bit for that one. Fireworks. Sweet, 100%, look at that. Now, this is a really good pairing. Disney and Vans. That's cool. We ended up going with the t-shirt and with the annual pass holder discount, it turned out $7 off, I think $31. Yeah. And she informed us that. You can see this oh, yeah. is a sticker and that's a sticker too. Those are it's two stickers. Cool. That is cool. We'll have to save that. Yeah. I think we're going to head towards the America Pavilion because we've got about, I don't know, 30, 30-ish, 30 40-ish minutes before the concert starts and we can start looking for a seat. But you can see it's actually very crowded through here right now. So right now, there's currently somebody out on stage, and it's not even 7.30 yet. Not sure what's going on, whether they just started or they maybe did an early concert due to weather, but we're gonna have to find out and see what's going on. Maybe we can still catch a little bit of them. I don't know. We'll have to see what they say up here. Might be able to still catch some, let's see. Yeah, see, it still shows eight o'clock, so they must have moved it up a little bit. Stick around, we'll be back in 20 minutes. Okay. So that was strange. They actually just did a show and finished it, but as they were finishing it up, they said they're gonna be out here in 20 minutes. So it looks like the eight o'clock one's still going. So we're gonna go ahead and just get a spot here because that show's over with, so people left. And what do you think? You think this is a good spot or do you wanna, is that pole gonna be in the way maybe? Maybe between those trees. We got to catch a little bit of the end of that show. I'm not sure why they were playing then. That didn't really make much sense. But hey, look at this. We can get some pretty, pretty decent seats here. Also, we were able to catch some of that show there at the end. And in one of the scenes, I looked, I saw the sunset. So I'm gonna put that clip in now because the sunset was absolutely amazing. Still, is really pretty. Still pretty good, but not quite as good as it was a little bit ago. So I'm gonna insert that clip now. Look at that sunset. You can kind of see the sunset now, but it wasn't near what it was a little bit ago. So I'm glad I got that on film. Look at this sky. This is something. Music fans, it's time. Put your hands together and welcome to the stage, Chris Allen and David Cook. I feel your pulse steady like an 808. Everybody's a little bit tired, but we, no, and you guys didn't do what I did today. No, maybe you're just, uh, you just have more stamina than me, so, which I, which I can appreciate. So I'm going to, uh, I put out a, a, a song not too long ago, and so it's fairly new, and I would love to teach you guys the chorus, because it's really simple. Is that cool? The chorus goes like this. Hallelujah, hallelujah for now. It 
It's, that's the whole chorus. Can you guys do that? Here's the song. It was 12 laws per course, by the way. What'd you say there, David? I didn't hear you that time. It was 12 laws per course. Yeah, yeah. There's a lot of laws. Okay. It's okay. okay. Jeez, David. Gosh. <laughs> what are you doing over there, David? Stop it. Don't hug me. Don't touch me. You're sweaty. Everybody wants a place to place the blame Cause who would want to stand Every bridge is across the same Noise for Mr. Chris Allen. Goodness. Speaking of making some noise, y'all make some noise for our good friend Mr. Jeffrey Scott up here. So Jeff came up to us uh, before the the shows today and said, "Hey, uh, hey, boss man." He calls me boss man, which I love. Uh, he said, "Hey, boss, uh, I've been working on this song for a while, and." Uh, I kind of just want a litmus test. I want to play it in front of an audience and see what the audience thinks. So what we'd like to do is we'd like to showcase uh, our buddy Jeff Scott here for a little bit. He's going to play a song that he wrote. guys but don't worry we'll be back here tomorrow night same bat time same bat oh wait is that the right then I don't know what we're talking about <laughs> jeez don't you go to pay the checks bro it's Marvel it's Iron Man yeah, Iron Man fans, <laughs> Captain America fans, <laughs> is Spider-Man still <laughs> If he is, my I feel like really. we're treading in really deep water right now. We're really, we're really trying to not come back next year. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we got one more for you.
music fans, let's hear it for Chris Allen and David Cook. Thank you for rocking out with us. Hopefully you can see us okay. We're right here by the restrooms. Right under a lamppost. Yeah, under a lamppost. But um, as we were walking up, we thought maybe that was gonna be the last show because they were playing off of their time slot. Um, but we did get to hear several songs there at the end of that show. And we filmed it thinking it was gonna be the last show. So I'm actually gonna insert those clips now because they were different songs than what you just heard with this show. 1-800-IDOLS-05. I love you too, I don't, where are you? Who said it? What's your name? I love you, 1-800-IDOLS-05. I would never make you guys stand up if you don't wanna stand up, so. 1-800-IDOLS-06. So yeah, that was that was awesome. I really enjoyed it. They sounded amazing. Yeah, obviously they're good performers if they won American Idol, but um, you did not grow up watching American Idol. Before, nope. No. I didn't really even know them other than you've played their songs before. Yeah, yeah. So I grew up in an American Idol household where it was tradition each week to sit down and watch and vote, you know. Um, and David Cook was definitely one of our favorites. My mom loved David Cook, so it was really cool to see him sing his songs and to be there with Chris Allen. Um, I really enjoyed seeing both of them. I know Chris Allen won season eight, and that's Danny Doki was also on that season. That's awesome. He's another Christian singer, but um, something. What I a liked. great, what a great season of American Idol. Yeah, I know. That's awesome. Yeah, it was. There, there was a lot of good people that came out of it that you don't know came out of American Idol sometimes, but. Um, I really liked Chris Allen's season because he shared his faith a lot, so that was cool to see. Yeah. But yeah, they were great. And I have to say, the night show at Epcot is by far superior than like an afternoon. afternoon show because that was really cool with the lights and everything. It was mm -hmm. it was really amazing, and it's great being in a theme park at nighttime anyway. Yeah. I also wanted to say that they were super funny. Yeah. They yeah. were they were cool guys. Good like I enjoyed it, and that guitar sure. player that just went hard out there. Mm -hmm was very good too. All of them were great. Yeah, so I really show. enjoyed it. Yeah. All right, that was our trip out to Epcot for another Eat to the Beat concert. And thank you for suggesting it. Yeah. You truly are the American Idol <laughs> fan, longtime fan. You even know their little like weird phone number thing. Yeah, I got that memorized. Um, but also it didn't rain, so I brought this for nothing. Figured oh, that. It usually works. You're welcome everybody for helping it not rain. Um, and also, we got to capture all the gold statues. Oh yeah, that's done. Yeah. Thank goodness. Here anyway. <laughs> um, but I really enjoyed them. They were funny, they were good. It was a great concert. I enjoyed tonight. Tonight was a fun night at Epcot. Yeah, quick night, but fun. Yeah. With that being said, that does it for tonight. Thanks for watching. <laughs>